Ready? All right, I'm getting ready to lap some valves. Here's some lapping compounds. Uh, it's available in uh, fine or coarse grades. This is just some stuff I got in my box uh, left over. It should be just fine for what I need. I'm gonna set it up and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got four little spots on it and I'm gonna stick it in the guide. There we go. I'm gonna do the same to one of these exhaust valves or intake valves, excuse me. All right, these guys are both in. They're ready to lap them. A couple ways you can do this. They make a lapping tool that will suction on this and you go back and forth with your hands to do it. I'm not gonna mess around with that. That takes a while. Uh, you also can put a piece of vacuum tubing on a stud in your drill and do it that way as well. But you can see right there, if you hear it, it's already. It's already making a contact. I'm gonna cheat. Here's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I got my drill directly on the valve stem and I'm just gonna rotate it. All right, let's take it off and see what we got. All right, we're gonna take it out. Now we're gonna use a rag and we're gonna wipe off the valve seat. Kinda hard to see, but there is a Dell contact patch right there. Much easier to see right there, that's nice. You can be real picky and do this a bunch of times, but this will suffice. Same here. Hard to see, but it's kind—it's a wide. It's quite wide. It looks good. All right, so one cylinder down. 23 to go. Now, I will say after you're done doing this, this stuff is abrasive and it's fine and you don't want it in your engine. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to run everybody through the hot wash again or you can spray it off with brake clean, or you can wipe it out real good uh, with rags and then soap and water and blow it off of the air. But after you lap the valves, you want everything nice and clean. You don't want that lapping valve compound in your cylinder head or in your engine.